Hello, this is Derek. This call's being recorded. Hello, this oh, is Derek. Hi, sorry. I, thought, I thought this was a voicemail. No, this is called. Oh, hi, no, no. This is my regular phone, and I just like okay. like to let everyone know at the start of the call that all calls are recorded, just in case. No problem. All right. Um, Okay. So if you go into it's just C D C A P. C D C A. Uh, C C A P. C cap. Okay, C cap. I got that. Yep. And then if you go into rules and circuit court, um, and then click on uniform rules for trial court. Okay, uniform rules for trial court. Um, I'm just a step behind you, oh, so. No Okay. Um, I'm sorry. It's, you click under rules, and it says circuit court rules, and you're going to click under state bar of Wisconsin's website. Uh, Wisconsin, okay. And then you're going to kind of scroll down to the county that we're in. We are in Sauk County, S-A-U-K. All righty. Okay, I'm in Sauk County, okay, and then you say it is rule number five, media coverage. I see uh, media coverage of court proceedings and camera in the courtroom. Great. And then, I guess if you have specific requests, just, you know, I've been getting a few phone calls in. Um, you certainly can put something in writing to Judge Reynolds, but I would like to have some specific Yeah, I just want to open the lines of communication. I film in various courthouses around the country, and I'm familiar with, you know, everyone has their own form. So I just want to make sure that I, I fill everything out in advance and open the lines of communication so that, uh, you know, people, it's not a surprise. <laughs> yeah, and again, it's something that he may or may not be able to respond to, depending on time pressing. He's, he's in court most of the time. So we're going to try to get him to request yesterday. Great, I appreciate that. And um, may I ask uh, your name? Oh, let me get, sure, Sarah. Okay, Sarah, thank you very much uh, sure. for all of did your you help. Fax, did you want to fax number in case you wanted to fax something here to Judge Reynolds? Uh, I won't be able to fax, but is there another way I can uh, communicate? If you want to, you know, mail a request, you certainly can. Um, again, whether or not he has time to respond, that's completely up to him. But I'm I, telling people that, you know, we're going to try to get him to respond to the judge. Do you need an address for the courthouse, or do you have that? I have an address, but does I mean does he have an email address? It's I nope. I, I he doesn't usually take personal emails from parties, nor can he communicate with parties. He has to remain, you know, impartial in every case. So um, you know, if you have an address, that's fine. But if you are in court, I mean, you mentioned that time might be an issue. That's why I bring up an email address. It's a little faster than a than a snail mail. So. Um, okay, if he doesn't have an email address, I don't have a fax machine because uh, I was born a little later than that. And uh, anyway, I, I would be happy to use snail mail, I suppose. If that's uh, I, that's I, other than going to Kinkos, I think that's the only thing I can do. This is uh, okay. I think yeah. that's it. I mean, I, maybe you can just tell me. I mean, is that where you go to use a fax machine at a Kinkos? I would or? assume so. I, I don't know. Maybe. maybe. Okay. Uh, you know, I know you're... Yeah, sure. Why don't I take that? It seems like I'll try it out. First time for everything. You bet. 608-355-3514. Okay, 3514 are the last Correct. four digits on that. Thanks. And is there any other information I have to put, like an attention or something like that? You can just put it to Judge Reynolds' attention. 
information and what you're trying to do, and I contact um, contact information back. Well, I really appreciate all of your help, and uh, uh, if uh, it goes through, I, I hope there will be some sort of way I can find out if it goes through. Um, what, what should I do to... The fact machine's not in my office, but I guess if you fax it through, uh, you know, I'm assuming you get a confirmation number or something that comes through. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, I don't really know how that works. But okay, well, thank you very much. So, You're this welcome. this Rule 5... I don't see a form to fill out specifically. So is there is there not a form, or it's just rules um, that I just have to know ahead of time? I think he's just going by the rules for media coverage. That's all he's advised you to tell people. So okay. That's all I have for you. All righty. And it, okay. so just so I'm clear, if I have any questions for him or, or anything else, I should mail the judge directly. And is it? I'm not sure. Uh, is Judge Reynolds a male or a female? Okay, his first name? Guy. Is Guy? Just yes. G. Guy, G U Y Reynolds. Okay, G U Y Reynolds. All right, okay. I really appreciate all of your help today, Sarah, and I hope you have a no wonderful problem. rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. -bye. <laughs> okay, so uh, you just saw that. I'm a little embarrassed uh, that I don't know how fax machines work, but um, I really only used one once uh, at the accounting firm where I worked in high school, and <laughs> I've been using email since I was nine years old, and uh, I'm 20, almost 24 now, so I'm really surprised that the court is so behind the times. I shouldn't be surprised, because, I mean... Everyone knows when you get a court date, it's like a year from whenever the violation was. So if, if that's how things roll when, uh, you know, you get a parking ticket, then just imagine when email comes out, it's going to be a hundred years before they accept that. Anyway, it's just kind of nuts. So those are the rules. Um, we've got, there's no easy way to look this up. What I googled, I just did a Google search for the, the rules. Um, that woman, she's a government agent. She's not very helpful. I'm sure she intends to be, but... All right, so what I Google searched was CCAP, C-C-A-P, Rules, Circuit Court, State Bar of Wisconsin. It was the first, first thing that came up. I just clicked that, and then I scrolled down and clicked Suck County, and then it was rule number five. So I'm going to go through these rules. Uh, looks like they were last updated in February of 2002. So I'm not expecting any live stream options. This is uh, over 10 years ago these rules were made up. And it's just ridiculous that um, free people are going into an unfree place like this and we're going to try and obey all their silly rules. and Oh, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, I hope that you found some value in this video. If you're someone who plans to uh, do some videography for the Vernon Hirschberger trial, uh, maybe you can benefit from this. I'll see you there. I look forward to filming this event and uh, making history. So here we go. Peace.